Hi, this is Jijo. And in this stuff DLR questions number 5, we will look at a CAT 2017 DLR question on cost breakup. Now this particular question, the it's not that this is uh, difficult but many people felt the question to be difficult because ex execution, executing what what is that I require so what what is the question asking me to do so uh, that was crucial to look at what is the kind of understanding that I need uh, uh, from the data set and, and then making the right kind of uh, deduction uh, for, for and that that was a challenge in this particular set this 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 set many people missed out this was not that difficult as a set actually not all LRDI is not difficult if you ask me. It's just about having the right kind of process, reading, understanding, deducing, executing uh, to ensure that you get marks from DLR. Let's look at the setup here. So what's given here is the following table shows the breakup of actual costs incurred by a company the last five years, 2002 to 2006. So 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006, that's a year and we have this cost, material, labor, consumables, rent of building and so on and so forth. Uh, and all the figures are there, all the tables are there, nothing is missing. So this is not a missing data issue. This is the interpretation of this data and answering the question. Okay, and then next goes on to say the production capacity of the company is 2000 unit. The production capacity is 2000 unit and there is a volume and uh, production and sale of units. So it, uh, it seems to suggest that whatever is produced is what is sold. So that's that's a good information, production and sales. So what is produced, so there is there is no unit that is uh, uh, th that is not sold. Every every unit is sold, that's what this suggests. And that is 1,000, 900, 1,100, 1,200, 1,200. And the capacity is 2,000. Obviously, they are going at 50% of their capacity. Then says a telling per selling price for the year 2006 was 125 per unit. Now we have the information about selling price only for 2006. We don't have information of selling price uh, between 2002 to 2005. Okay, 2006 is selling price. And says, and, and the next part says, some costs change almost in direct proportion to the change in the volume of production. So there is a volume of production, there is cost. Some of these costs change the direct proportion. Uh, and, and then it says, uh, while others uh, do not follow any obvious pattern with regards to the uh, volume of production and hence are considered fixed. So we, uh, we have a uh, uh, variable cost and we have fixed cost. Uh, so it might be important to identify what the variable cost and what the fixed cost is to answer the question. So here what you can see that this uh, particular thing here is a uh, fixed cost. So that's actually fixed and there are certain other things which is not uh, moving in any particular pattern 800, 800, 827, 80, 790, 800 or for the matter uh, there, this one is no, there's no specific pattern. This does not have any specific pattern. This does not have any specific pattern. So all these are uh, my uh, fixed costs and you have rest of the thing that are variable costs. We have 1000, we have uh, 50,000, that's 50 times that value. 900 approximately 45,000, that's about uh, 50 times the value. 1100 by 55,000, 50 times the value. This seems to look like a 50 times value. This looks like a 20 times the value. 1000 into 20 is uh, 2000, 20,000. 900 into 20 is 18,000. 1120 is approximately 20. Okay, this seems to be a variable cost. And then you have this 30, 27, 33, so 9, 9, 900 times 30 is 2700. 1100 times uh, 30 is 3300, 1200 times 30 is 3600 and there are these variable costs. So we have these three things uh, which are, uh, 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 these three things are variable costs and these, these are our uh, fixed costs. Perfect. So there is something that is based on, uh, uh, so that's something that you can understand from the data. And then it says, using the information product, uh, uh, product in the year 2006, now we are interested in what happens in the year 2006 as the basis for projecting the figures of the year 2007. So if we look at what is going to happen in 2007 and we have to look at, makes a, uh, we have to make a projection based on that. Now the fixed cost will be kind of easy to project. So whatever is 1400 will will go to 1400 there. This will be 1200. This will be 400. This will be 800. This will be 5800. That's easy. And this has to be uh, based on the number of value. We don't know if I assume that number of volume of production is n. So this will be like a 50 times n. This will be like a uh, the 20 times n and this will be like a 30 times n. So that's what's what happens uh, and answer the following question. So if you look at the, the, the question here, it says what is approximate cost per unit uh, in rupees? 
uh, uh, if the company sells 1,400 units. So here is 1,400 units. The minimum number of units is what is asked in num number two. How many units the company should uh, produce and maximize its profit? And uh, it says the sell cannot sell more than 4,000 units. What is the maximum profit? Cannot sell, sorry, cannot sell more than 17, uh, 700 units. So you have number of units uh, is different for each uh, question. So first of all, we need to look at uh, 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 a cost e equation to a cost, which is, which is uh, the variable cost, something multiplied by N plus a fixed cost. So, so there is a, uh, uh, whatever is a coefficient multiplied by n uh, plus something that is a fixed cost. Once you get that particular equation uh, based on the data that is given to us, then we can go ahead and answer the question. So, uh, let's uh, we have identified. So, if so, essentially what we'll have to do is look at what happens in the year 2007. We, we let's take a general case of number of unit equal to n. So, the, now this one we identified as a variable cost. This is 50 times n. The second one is the variable cost, that is 20 times n. This is a fixed cost. Uh, here, here, th this is where many people made a mistake in terms of how what figure should I pick uh, picked to write the fixed cost. So please understand here, others do not follow any obvious pattern with respect to the volume and hence are considered fixed. So there is an obvious pattern, when, when is 1000 is 2000, when is 900 it has gone up, 1100 it has come down. So this is a fixed cost. Now. Should I take the median? Should I take the average uh, to figure out what that is? The question very clearly says, using the information provided in 2006 as the basis for projecting the figure. Use this and that's it. So all you have to do is this, take the fixed cost here to be 1400. Uh, this also is a fixed cost. There's no obvious pattern. That is 1200. This is very clearly a fixed cost. That is 400. This is also a fixed cost. There is no uh, pattern. We'll take the figure of 800. This one is a variable cost. You can see this is uh, 30, this is 27, and you know the 9 times 3 is 27, 11 times 3 is 33, 12 times 3 is 36, this is 30 times n, and we have this, uh, the last one does not have any obvious pattern, 5750, 5800, uh, and then we just have to take the figure of, uh, of, of, of this and say that this is uh, 5800, and let's create a cost equation, let's take all the coefficient, 50 plus 20 plus 30, that's 100n, Plus, let's add the rest of the things together. So let's uh, make the addition to look at the cost is one, uh, 40 of uh, 1400 plus 1200 is 2600. 2600 plus 400 is uh, uh, th th 3000. 3800. Uh, 3800 uh, plus 800 is uh, 4600. 4600 plus 5000 is 9600. And that's an equation. Once you get this equation, I think things are fine. So we will use this uh, so simple equation, cost equation, to answer the question. And if anything about price, we'll take the information 2006 and say that uh, the, the the selling price is 150 per unit. So 150 times n. This is my cost. Perfect. So let's look at uh, the question and, and uh, answer. So we have the what is up, up, approximate cost per unit? If the company produces and sells 1,400 units, so the the cost uh, is, is we have found it is 100 times n plus 9,600. So now all we have to do is cost per unit will be cost divided by n. This divided by this would be equal to 100 plus 9,600 by what value n? In this case, you have to substitute n to be 1,400. So this is 100 plus 9,600 divided by uh, uh, 1400 so this gets cancelled you can actually use a calculator and kind of do it so 7 2s are uh, 14 uh, uh, 48 7 7 are 49 this, this is approximately uh, this is approximately equal to 7 so it will be approximately equal to 107 so that's your answer to question number 1 Let's look at the next question. What is the minimum number of units the company ha needs to produce to sell to avoid any loss? Okay, so the selling price is 125 times N that we found out. The cost price is 100 N plus 9600. So the, the, the profit that's going to come out is 125 N minus this 100 N plus 9600 so basically saying that uh, so about any loss which means we assume the profit to be equal to zero what happens that would mean that this is 25 times n minus 9600 uh, should be equal to zero or uh, 
25 times n should be 9600 n would be equal to 9600 divided by 25 so we know that uh, you can think of like this uh, and then say that this is 4 so this is 96 multiplied by 4 6 4 is 24 9 uh, 4 is 36 37 38 384 is the answer to that question uh, perfect let's look at the next one if the company reduces its price by 5 percentage so what is now happening is that the original uh, price was 125 uh, so now this will be 0 0.95 times 125 that's where it has gone to uh, it can produce and sell as many units as it desires so the capacity uh, is is 2000 if you remember that i think it's mentioned there that the capacity uh, production capacity 2000 uh, and then it says that how many units the company should maximize its profit the company wants to maximize its profit now the 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 profit uh, uh, is uh, th now the figure is now 0 0.95 times uh, 125 uh, per 0 0.95 125 that's a price multiply by the number of units that'll be the selling price total minus what of the cost is 100 times n uh, plus 9600 so this will turn out to be 0 0.95 times 125 uh, minus this 100 whatever that figure times n uh, minus 9600 so maximize the profit you have to sell as many things as possible so the more the the the, the higher the value of n the greater the overall value is going to be there is nothing else the simple story what was the value that they pushed when uh, the more the value of n the better the profit to maximize the profit sell maximum number of unit the maximum number of unit you can sell is 2000 so actually this question did not require any sort of calculation which is why i left it like that just to understand the simple case is that uh, whatever is the value here some number it doesn't matter what the number is some number times n minus 9600 so so maximize this value you have to maximize the number of uh, units that's as simple as that okay let's look at the next question is that the given that the company cannot sell more than 1700 unit oh so there is a uh, issue here that the maximum uh, that the company can sell is 1700 units that's a maximum and then it says that uh, and it will have to reduce the price by five for all units it want to sell more than 1400 okay so there's a story that happens here so there is 1400 units there's a, a price that price uh, in this case is 125 and anything beyond that let's take that you have yourself uh, making x unit beyond that and the price is going to reduce by uh, five the price is going to be 120 what is the maximum profit in rupees the company can earn okay so we'll have to break the, this uh, two story separately because we have a constraint with respect to this particular x here because the total is 1700 we already taken 1400 there so the maximum value of a x uh, in this case would be 300 because 1400 plus 300 makes it 1700 and we don't know whether uh, we'll make money here will make money here so for example if you look at this particular case now the cost equation uh, uh, is 100 n plus 9600 that's a cost equation in this case the cost uh, that is going to be 100 times uh, 300 because we have maximum is 300 unit plus 9600 okay and, and the selling price in this case so the, the our revenue that we'll uh, generate which is uh, 120 uh, uh with the 300 units 120 uh, times 300 now if we subtract these things this is uh, 20 times uh, 300 minus 9600 now 20 times 300 6000 minus 9600 we make a loss so one of the things that we need to see that this extra whatever x that we take the break even is we have to get 9600 that's the break even so 20 times uh, 20 times n mine uh, should be equal to 9600 correct how do you get the 20 times n 120 minus uh, 100 20 times n so the break even number of units in this case is 9600 divided by 20 uh, that's like what uh, 480 uh, units anything less than 480 units you're making a loss therefore the uh, the key uh, thing is that we should not consider this part don't take anything extra because we're not going to make money we'll start making money only uh, only at 480 units so in this case the second part is not uh, not to be considered so all you have to consider is maximize this so it's pretty simple the revenue that will generate here is uh, 
125 times the number of units is 1400 the cost in this case is 100 times n the 100 times uh, number of 1400 plus 9600 so all you have to do is subtract these two so 25 times 1400 minus 9600 this is what we need to kind of uh, uh, so we are looking at uh, 25 times uh, 14 uh, you can look at 25 times 10 plus 4 so that will be equal to uh, 250 plus 100 so that's like 350 so this will be 3 uh, oops 350 uh, uh, 35,000 minus 9600 so you can look at this will be for 4 5 2 25400 and there you go your answer choice number one so barring probably this one question which is question number four the rest of the question is pretty uh, easy to uh, easy to handle once you get this simple equation out so uh, th this question was was key to this question was understanding what is going on here uh, especially this sentence using information provided in the year 2006 as a base of project in the figure 2007 looking at each of this question as to what the question is wanting you to do and then making the detection and creating the simple equation that equation could have got this question number one two and three uh, pretty straight and probably a little bit of effort in question number four yeah thank you I'll see you soon with more tough TLR sets <music>